I take contemporary events and kind of look at them through the lens of fantasy and, and, and see what they really mean in, in mythic terms, which sounds terribly pompous, but it isn't. I, I just really tell stories. We lost a name, Harlan Ellison, who in our world is a, is a big figure. Let's talk about him real quick. To genre enthusiasts of a certain age, it's, it's there constantly. To this next generation, maybe not as much, but it's kind of like up to people like us to be like, hey, there was this great writer yeah. who, did, who laid a lot of the track that other people traveled on for the rest of their careers. This is a guy who wrote Star Trek. I know he's done some of their classic episodes. He wrote a lot of Twilight, Twilight Zones. Zones. Go ahead, knock yourself out. He was the guy that wrote the story, I don't know if it was The Soldier. The short story that, uh, that inspired Cameron for Terminator. For Terminator. Allegedly? I don't know. He took him to court, that's the yeah, story, yeah, yeah. right? And like, if you looked at like a Terminator VHS or watched it in the theater when it came out, there was a credit that wasn't there that when you watched a, a Laserdisc later on, it said like- Acknowledgements to the works of Harlan, Harlan Ellison. Ellison. Yeah. I'll be back. I'm a fan, I know these things. Uh, you are, deep cuts, as <laughs> I love about you. Any influence on your career? I think you, I mean, anyone working in genre stories, you know, can't claim that they have no influence from Harlan Ellison. I mean, he touched literally like every form of science fiction and everything orbiting that world. And his contribution to the world like can't be underplayed. And it's, you know, it's something that all creative people like hope for, like, oh, you know, can I affect a, a you know, a genre medium in the way that somebody like that does? And, you know, he, he accomplished something monumental. It's a tragic loss.